हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एग्रो गूगल एंड आई एम पुष्पेंद्र कुमार मीणा स्टूडेंट ऑफ तमिलनाडु एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी हैव ए स्पेशल गेस्ट संतोष अन्ना ही इज़ माय सीनियर एंड रिसेंटली ही गॉट ए इनक्रेडिबल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू विजिट नीदरलैंड सो टुडे वी आर टॉक अबाउट हिज जर्नी हिज एक्सपीरियंस हाउ ही गॉट दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड हाउ इज हिज एक्सपीरियंस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Yeah, it's my immense pleasure, and I'm in seventh heaven to be part of this program. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, I don't know whether I'm suited for this, but I will try my level best to answer for his question. Let's get started. Thank you, Anna, for joining with us, and uh, I will ask one by one question. Please try to tell in detail answer. So my question first is: uh, I would like to tell about little bit yourself and tell uh, how you get interested in agriculture. Yeah, I'm from the place where story begins. That's I'm from Tamil Nadu, and I'm passing my B.Sc. in agriculture in Agriculture College and Research Institute, Kudumbamalai, where you are. your youtuber is studying it's a very good experience to study in agriculture try to study it because it is the backbone of our economy and the reason behind the, the reason behind choosing agriculture is that it's my favorite and it's everyone favorite and everyone have to depend on agriculture and the main reason that i have chosen is the tour i have all the tour i have study tour i have nss camp and various activities so that i have chosen this agriculture as my course yeah it is very awesome introduction sir so first question is my that uh, recently you had that incredible opportunity to visit the netherland can you tell us how this opportunity came about and uh, what was the selected process for this opportunity uh out of blue i have been selected to be there in netherlands i really don't have interest to be there but it's my fate i have to go there uh i got this opportunity as a written exam first many of my friends are willing uh, are willed uh, sorry many of my friends uh, written that exam so that i have also tried to write because i know need to know what i have learned so that i just write that exam but out of the blue i have been selected and i have underwent an interview process and they processed many things visa and all other things and i went there so i have written an interview i have written an exam and an interview for this so how was your experience in the netherland and what were some of the highlights of your trip both academically and culturally so tell about some of your experience in the netherland as a part of idp program uh, i went there first it makes me more uh, pathetic because leaving my own nation and leaving my motherland makes me more uh, regrets but later i started enjoying those experiences it's really a very good experience so you have also want to try that at least once in your life so try to explore the opportunities don't feel regret uh my experience start with the flight uh, really this was my first flight experience but i don't have interest in that but i have enjoyed that flight experience and i have visited the dubai first dubai airport then i later visited the amsterdam the airport uh the first uh, miracle that i have experienced is that usually in india sun sets at 7 pm but there while i'm going there it's nearly 7 but it's very bright but within a fraction of a uh, minute that's 10 to 15 minutes it started to set and while i'm moving out of the airport it started raining then after 10 to 15 minutes the climate becomes normal uh, they usually quote this thing this netherland climate is very unpredictable and i have experienced that that's very good netherland climate is very good while i'm visiting there the climate was around 16 degrees celsius after 2 to 3 weeks it was around 12 then after one month it's around 4 degrees celsius and while i'm departing from netherland it is minus 4 degrees celsius so it's very cold it's very bitter cold for us because we indians we face uh, uh, we can tolerate the high temperature but yes. it's very hard to experience very cold but it's a very good experience and uh, regarding my education uh, i went to university of twente that is itc there i have underwent three courses 
one everything is related to the remote sensing first course is about uav unarmed aerial vehicle and second is with the satellite data and third one it is with the water productivity all three courses are very good and their education system is very completely different from ours here we have to uh, we have to be there in the college from 7:30 and we have to leave it by 6 but their um, that education time is very less uh, we have to be there only for one hour for one course it is just one hour for a week it will be around 3 hours maximum 3 hours we have to there and attendance is not compulsory but here attendance is very compulsory um, there the working hours will be very minimum but we have to work on our assignments assignments will be very bit difficult you have to work here the assignments are very simple you have to browse it and you have to copy it but there you have to work for it i have learned various softwares like matlab uh, and then i have learned the jupiter notebooks they another more interesting fascinating thing i have learned there is that they won't pronounce j as j they usually call january as january uh, jan, jan july as Ju- july jan, june as june and they, that's their tradition of pronouncing the j that's more fascinating thing that i have learned and i have already discussed about the climate then they are more friendly and the most important thing that i have that we are uh, indians have to learn is that they are having four paths one is for biking that's you usually use bicycles yes, yes. and it's very rare to see the motorcycles there and we, they have the bus lane as separate one and car lane and parking lane four lanes they will be there and parking lane it will be somewhere around it's gray and bike lane that is bicycle it is red color and their bus system is very different we as an indian we have to pay the rupees to the conductor and conductor will announce the stop but there it's card you have to recharge that card just you have to show that card to the sensor it will detect the amount and it will there is no conductor in the netherlands bus okay. so you have to be very cautious and you have to be uh, go out of the bus when it's your stop uh, then they, those people are very friendly they will help you at any cost and the most interesting thing about the other people as indian is that they usually think we indians are very brilliant oh. but we actually we are not that but they think us we are more brilliant and we are uh, more uh, how i will say we are more influential they are thinking that we are more influential thing person these are the things that i really enjoyed there and i have also visited the other countries nearby because i got the chengdu state and so i have visited the paris i have also visited uh, germany germany yeah okay. because netherlands and germany are neighboring countries so you tell very good experience and i would like to ask uh, your sponsor and that university give some help or that is your own money or state will sponsor please tell about your i have already informed you that this is a part of an idp program yes, i yes. did not even spend 1 rupee for this oh. everything is sponsored by the idp that is uh, in institutional development plan i don't know the correct expenses sorry okay. for that okay, okay. they have sponsored it and i did not even spend a single rupee for that yeah If you also are excited, you can also participate in that. Okay. Uh, so, in during your time in the Netherlands, uh, what kind of research activity were you involved, in? and uh, how does the agriculture research there compare to the what uh, uh, research they have in our uh, India? The most uh, noted thing is that we farmers are rich in Netherlands when compared here. We are very rich. and even they have the competition among the farmers uh, in netherlands mainly in the amsterdam you have to pay tax for uh, making constructing the staircase so only the rich people will have the staircase so farmers compete among themselves to build more staircases so in amsterdam you can see more staircases so they are uh, projecting that the farmers are more uh, rich there than the other peoples and there they contribute they give more importance and significant significance to the farmers and their vegetables will be more fresh because it's a cold climate and i have seen more bulgier vegetables and some few different vegetables there and i have also learned cooking there uh, 
uh, their agriculture is more advanced uh, they are mostly preferring the remote sensing and drone based agriculture but they did not use the drone for spraying but we are advanced in spraying with drones but they usually detect the nutrient deficiency and disease pests with the help of the uh, uavs that is drones and satellites and they cure with uh, data so you know, we know every great opportunity comes with uh, its challenges so i would uh, like to ask you uh, tell about some challenges uh, you faced there and uh, how did you overcome them yeah the most important challenge that i have faced is leaving my best friends here it made me more dramatic and pathetic i cannot leave my friends because it's it's just three months but i feel more uh, regrets because i don't want to leave my friends because it's end of my college life right i don't want to miss this life but out of the blue i have to go there and i have to be there i miss the lot uh, not only me many people who are leaving this country for uh, education or for work they, everyone will feel the same because it's not our land right this is our own land so here we can have uh, some good feeling that it's ours but there it's not like that it will make us feel worse so loneliness is the main thing that i have faced the other thing is that it's very cold so i have to be adapted acclimatized yes, yes. so that makes me uh, something good and moreover i started learning and i started enjoying okay so you meet uh, their uh, other country student also if they are netherland or uh, other uh, country yeah also. i have got two friends one is from iran and another one is from africa uh, my iranian friend is uh, zahi ismaili and my african friend is ayatan alanji they are very good friends and i helped them and they helped them and we have a mutual a very good friendship it's a very good experience to have uh, friends like them okay so uh, when you are visit outside there is any language problem you faced uh, or uh, yeah i have one worst experience in my first day of college there yes. uh, first uh, college starts by 9 so everyone had prepared yes, yes but i thought that first day there, is, there was no college so i they woke up late and i started preparing my meals while it's a half cooked they called me it's very delay you have to be there in the college so i started preparing myself it's more late so i have uh, first i went to the bus but it, that time i have uh, misstanged my bus so i have uh, um, i have took the another bus so it's rotating my hotel around and around at least three times i'm just asking the other person nearby whether will it go to my university most of the dutch people don't know english that's a very big major issue they don't know english so i'm just asking my peop- neighboring people who is standing nearby but they did not answer they are they are um, having fear on me because yeah. i'm speaking english to them uh-huh. and they knew only dutch and dutch is a very tough language because yes. it's very different so i don't know what to do i'm just uh, pathetic because i have to move there it's my first year of college i don't know how my professor react so after that i went out of the bus and i took the correct bus and went to the college as late but my professor did not even bother she asked me to take my seat and she uh, welcomed me with laugh that's a very good but um, don't be late because indian professors are not like you have to be very much cautious yes yes uh, so what advice would you give to other student who are interested to for such opportunities yeah the major thing i have went there by completely free it's sponsored but while you have to make yourself to study in abroad you have to first apply for a scholarship because um, many seniors from tamil nadu is also studying there they shared the experience of them they went by their own self so the major part that they said is that uh, the scholarship uh, majorly there will be two entries there one with september and another with july january or february so for that you have to apply the scholarship earlier so that you can get the funds so you have to apply for a scholarship you have to get the degree certificate first then you have to apply for that that's the thing okay uh, so what are your future plans uh, now you have a very good experience in uh, netherland how to use how to that utilize that your uh, knowledge 
see i don't want to go abroad because i have a very good e- india i have my motherland i don't want to work in abroad but i have to visit some other countries for my experience and journey i don't want to leave india i will be here and i will work for india that's it i don't want to go there but if i get an another chance of visiting some other country surely i will be going there okay so uh, first of all uh, my questions are complete can you add your some more information you can add yeah the things that i have left okay i have learned cooking there and i have also learned the other people cooking i have my neighbor as a chinese yeah. but i taught her as a japanese and taught her she yeah. said that she is chinese but it's my third that your face cut is similar to the yeah. japanese but she is chinese yeah. we have a major uh, thing that they will eat the noodles as the most yeah. i just asked her she is a person who eats the rice most so that made me fascinating and most of uh, in china they divided themselves as north and south and she is from the south part and her staple food is rice and most of the person in this uh, north side they are staple food is noodles this is the thing that i have learned and i have a very good experience of uh, visiting the various supermarkets there and i will go around and see notice the prices and i just move up without buying anything so i will compare the different supermarkets and i will buy the things there the supermarkets named jumbo we will say it as jumbo but according to them it's jumbo i have already told you okay, okay. so jumbo then albertine these are the uh, most noted supermarkets and most of the people buy there because it's will be, it will be cheaper and their uh, their currency is euro and for us it is rupees yeah. and it's very costly euro 1 euro is about 89 to 90 rupees then what i have to share mm, you can ask something because okay so that some people like me i am pure vegetarian if i go to abroad uh, how much uh, difficulty i faced uh, even i am also a vegetarian yeah. but you will not face any difficulty you will have your own stuffs in the supermarket you have your own stuffs in the market you can find uh, you can buy the fruits and veggies freshly and you can prepare your meals so it's not a uh, difficult but uh, while moving out into a restaurant there you feel difficulty because most of them are non vegetarian okay, okay. so thank you so much anna for sharing your incredible journey express it's uh, truly inspiring to me and my viewers who are uh, watching this video i don't know whether i have inspired you or not i just shared my experience and if i made some mistake uh, please forgive me and for- please forgive me Okay, okay. And to our viewers, uh, if you found that video informative, and uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel, and we meet in next video with new information. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye. Bye.